No, I'm making this tutorial because I keep seeing uh, these people trying to make this film look with these black stripes on the top and the bottom and uh, they keep trying to use different files and uh, things on top of the video to create this look but you don't need to do that you can just do it in Premiere so let me import some video and this is not my footage basically but uh, anyway I have a, a 720p timeline at 24 as you can see and this video is at the same frame rate but it's at a different size it shows me 1920 so I will take so it doesn't matter where your project is I make a new timeline like that and then I will put the rest of the video on here the first way to do this is you go to uh, export of course after you're done with your edit or whatever once you're in here I'd use uh, H264 and I use custom settings but you start with uh, basically I start with this with the HD uh, this one for the 1080p and you can see that the settings are pretty much the same as our timeline but I changed this because uh, this way you can you put this on max but you reduce your size by doing this but you're reducing your size by uh, reducing your, your bitrate probably this will be uh, at really good quality and uh, you know but you, you can try anyway uh, but this doesn't give me any black stripes so the way I do that this is the output and you go to the source basically and you click on this and you would get your black stripes here let's say around that we make it 140 by bottom 140 so now if you go to the output you can see that you have your black stripes but this, there is one problem with this is that uh, we're missing the guy's foot you know we cut it off which is not good and we can adjust that here you can go back and try to lift this up but anyway this is one way if your video is set up pretty good you know you can maybe do that but uh, but there is another way so we cancel this and what we do we will create another timeline so you go new sequence and this is a 720 so you know this work the same for both but we go here at 24 so this gives us the right resolution of frame rate but then we go to settings and we make this custom anyway and everything else is good we will change this over here so we make this all right so now you click ok and you have your timeline so now you put your video here you keep the settings and you have already a very wide angle indeed so now you have a very wide angle you know very wide you cannot see the black stripes but uh, there's no problem there so now if you want to adjust your video you just go to I press control you click on the clip and then you go to here so you move bring this up like this so now you have it where you want it on the next clip so if you click on this uh, that looks pretty good and then this clip also looks pretty good I think you know because it's kind of it gives you you know pretty nice similar and stuff but if you want to move it you can move it inside the timeline and you can even animate this to go you know like the camera was going from the bottom to the top or something you can do something like this so once you're done with this you go file uh, export media okay and now as you can see we on the standard 1920 by 1080 and it has the stripes the thing is you can also do your custom I mean you can export it like this and then you upload it and it'll be exactly how you see it now you can also make this custom and now you have it like you had it before and basically if you export this like this when you bring it into YouTube the YouTube is going to give you the uh, it's going to give you the stripes because it doesn't have this format all the standard formats are 720p and 1080p or whatever they are that format so basically when you're going to bring it in there it's going to be uh, so it's going to be in YouTube you're going to see it like this it doesn't matter how you export this if you export it from the beginning with the stripes or you do it 
like this, you know, and then you'll have it. Most movie they just like this, they don't have the stripes. And then, so basically when you view it into your player, it, because you make a full screen, it's going to be, it's going to have black on the t bottom and the top, but you know, in YouTube, you're going to see it, uh, you know, in YouTube, basically you've seen it like this, even if you export like this, or if you export with the actually sayings of the timeline, which is 800. And uh, either way, you will have the black stripes on YouTube, or even when you play it on your screen, if you make a full screen, then you'll have black on the bottom and the top. And that's it. So I hope this helped. And, uh, you know, this is basically an easy way to have control of your dimensions and get the black stripes if you want. And if you don't, then you don't, you know. But if you do, it's no point of uh, getting different files and putting video on top of, like putting these templates on top of the video to get these black stripes because it really makes no sense, you know. Because like I said, once you export, you have it at 1080 and uh, then you have the stripes. So these are two ways that I found that if I really want to get these black stripes, I can do it uh, by creating a custom timeline and... Uh, having the video, you know, already in that format. And like I said, most vi most movies, they already at this format. They are around uh, this, you know, they're around this format. And, and you basically, when you get it, because you play it and you make it full screen, you see the black on the bottom and the top. So I hope this helped and um, thanks for watching.